with this game between Malgir and Mesod and Vesas. Now it opened with a very critical variation and they tried to win materially immediately, but it backfired and here we're up a piece. The problem is that we lose a lot of time and also a lot of pawns, but in a way that help is helpful as well because my rooks will always have open files, whereas Reddit has no open files. And there I made a critical decision to trade the yellow rook. I think the most active rook, so now yellow is having very few pieces left. So the strategical aim was to leave red with the lone rook, which was trapped behind him, his own pawns. If we could trade off every piece of yellow, then the game would pretty much be over. I probably could have made a, an improvement around here because somehow I had to give up my knight in the game. Maybe I should have played bishop e2 before. And I think this rook d10 was an excellent move. Just in time to trade off more material. Now in fact, I had to sacrifice my knight to get to trade off rook and knight because red has the, this annoying check on blue. I was contemplating playing bishop. Um, bishop a6 here and also in another position yeah so <clears throat> this is hard for blue to avoid these checks the king is perfectly placed because any other square like um, b4 then there would be knight d5 check I think it was very instructive in this game was that the blue king just stayed on the queen side didn't try to castle or something because the king is quite well placed as long as it's not getting mated Yeah, so I, at this point I think check was forced, because if no check, then red checks on c6. And if the yellow rook lives, then I'm just getting mated. So this was very forced. Yeah. Knight, knight b k11 would have been the optimal move, but then knight c6 check. Blue has to take, and then yellow three can take my knight, and then check next move. Yeah, so it was good defense from Valier because if I check, then he could win the blue bishop. I mean knight. But finally, this knight on v four is trapped, which I think is what won us the game. Yeah, bishop, bishop a7 was, uh, a6 was very interesting, but he can just take it. <laughs> and the problem is that if uh, we want to trade, we really want to trade off this bishop, but in the end, we're, we almost have no material ourselves. Because if bishop takes here, then bishop takes and red takes the knight. So the bishop has no protection. So in fact, we could not make this trade happen. So I think we played optimally in the game. Yeah, 
it was very tricky because red has multiple ways to save for yellow. This knight on b4 is very well placed for checking. Maybe that would have been a better attempt. If check, take, check, and finally we manage to keep the material. And I think we're up uh, two pieces now. No, one piece. Yeah, one piece. But it's more than that because the red rook is completely out of the game. You could add like five rooks there and it wouldn't make a difference. And yeah, this was... I think it was optimal play all the way. Maybe instead of this king move he could have tried So right here, well you could have tried saving his knight with bishop f um, h7 and knight knight out. Yeah. And instead he went for checks on me, but now we trapped his knight and I can just say save my king in time. So probably this knight, knight k4 was a mistake. And here critically attacked the knight, otherwise red would have had time to activate his rook. And this was the final mistake, playing um, is e12 because now we have Continuous check on yellow. Instead, moving the king would have been better. We still would have had a fine position, but then they would still have fighting opportunities. And here, quickly, we have a quick mate. And that's it. Thanks for watching.